Hello. Okay, um, just another very quick uh, bit with grease pencil. If you're rendering it out, you're sort of... Uh, let's go and pop that over here for a minute. So if you go render and go open GL render, you're going to get this, which you sort of don't want. You'd like to have a, a background as a colour. Um, and even though... Um, move that. Even though in here I've got this... Hello. I've got this, uh, there we go, I've got it set to paper sky and real sky or whatever you want to call it, real sky, paper sky and give it a, a colour, imagine that's going to give it the colour isn't it, yeah, so if I wanted it to have a, a nice blue colour as a background, which you probably don't, make it white, we'll do blue, there we go, um, when we go to render and we go open geo render, it doesn't render the background, how do we do that, and also, you notice it's using OpenGL, we can see um, I made an empty down here, and there's a light, and it's rendering those out. We don't, we don't want that. So let's fix that. So over in this uh, this drag outable tab here, this guy, um, if you're trying to find him, he's sort of blah blah blah, all this lot. Got lots of things. Got a grease pencil. We need to look down to um, display, and display only the render. So that gets rid of anything in the viewport like um, the grid and the lights and whatever yeah that gets rid of everything and also world background we can click on that guy and that will actually make the background color pop in so back over to here we can change this to be sort of white not quite white sort of bluey white you know what just knock them up to 100 or even to 1 there we go okay and then when we go to render and open GL image we get a render that has a white background. Woohoo! Because before I discovered that, I was going like, how do you get this to work? So it's a bit bizarre in a way. It sort of makes sense, it sort of doesn't. That you do have um, a tab over here that is describing what's happening uh, with your world and background. Um, but to actually make it work in the OpenGL, you need to going to display and do that as well otherwise you won't get that so it's a display option option it does make sense in a way because what we're doing is a open gl open gl render uh not a ray trace render as in using the blender renderer or cycles that's what we need to go and switch it on in here and that is that so yeah short video how to get your background to render with um grease pencil of course you can add in a plane as well as a different way of doing it. So we switch that guy off, uh, only render and no background, and we can sort of click along here and I can go and turn this plane back on. So I could add a plane in the background and put my own little drawing on it and do it that way. So there are options, or composite it, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm waffling, that will do. Right, um, later. See you later, bye.